Netizens, welcome to Motoint. Maruti 800 is what legends are made of. It changed the way Indian automobile industry works, the way we travel, and the way we commute. In fact, it is surprising to find that in that day and age, this people mover was made by a public sector company, Maruti Udyog, and its joint venture partner, Suzuki Japan. Maruti Udyog set new benchmark in terms of quality, productivity, industrial relation, and customer care. Not only in the Indian automobile industry, but the manufacturing sector as a whole. When a car is this iconic and a piece of Indian automobile history, you really got to own one. Hi, I'm Johan. This is my Maruti 800. A 2000 year manufactured 800DX limited run with five speed manual gearbox. I bought it from a single owner who used the car for 15 years within the Mumbai city limits. Well, it's a 3.3 meter long car and unmistakably an evolutionary design of 800. Tough, built to last, having a crossoverish ground clearance of around 170 millimeter. The protruding bumpers, the non-painted side view mirrors, door handles, and even boot lid are all exterior features of the 800. And the large greenhouse provides enough light for the roomy interiors. When inside, the driver is greeted by a bare-bone cockpit, which consists of the speedometer, engine temperature gauge, and the fuel indicator. You sit upright in the bucket seat, with the floor shifter at a perfect distance and a commanding view of the road. Remember, this car was made in an era where even the cigarette lighter was a premium interior feature, and my car misses out on that. I had to retrofit the same to charge the electronic devices. The dashboard, on the other hand, still holds well and includes a glove box which has a decent space. This small car provides ample of space for a family of four, with good legroom, good headspace, and a comfortable ride. Even the boot is a decently sized one too, with low and wide opening. And if you need more space, you can fold up those rear seats to fit those golf clubs. I wonder who takes 800 for a game of golf. Hmm. You might have noticed that I never mentioned about an in-car entertainment system. And that is because my car doesn't have one. As I didn't want to drill my door pads or wire up the entire car, I was searching for alternatives and I stumbled upon this. A JBL Flip 2 Bluetooth speaker, the most simplest solution for my complicated problem. And it sounds good too. I was surprised to find this part of the MGA accessories lineup. The pleasure of 800 is in its drivability. When you slot in that first gear and get the car moving, you'll understand why this car is still enjoyable. That 5-speed manual gearbox, fuel-injected engine, the go-kart-like steering wheel, and that 650kg lightweight body all comes together in a perfect harmony. The steering wheel and pedals are exactly where you want them. No reach or rake adjustments. Just pull up your seat and find a comfortable driving position. As for the safety features, you pull down the seat belt and plant yourself in the seat. And of course, the Momo gear knob in my 800 helps in those faster shifts, fast and furious style. I'm a manual gearbox guy and I support hashtag save the manuals. The 5-speed gearbox in this car makes me love it even more than the 4-speed ones as it aids in higher fuel economy as well as the occasional spirited driving. The three-cylinder 45 bhp engine delivers the power in a linear manner with peak torque around 62 newton meters at 3000 rpm. It's a 10 percentage power bump over the earlier unit with almost the same weight. How can anybody forget the air condition button, which is also the boost button in an 800? One of my most favorite components of this car gotta be the steering wheel. Outrightly better than many modern small cars and even some bigger ones. The steering gives a good feedback and a feeling of control and confidence. In fact, the car behaves like a go-kart. I recently drove my car 1,500 kilometers from Mumbai to God's own country, Kerala. And boy oh boy, this car, the 16-year-old car, more than proves itself. Now for the financial details. I've kept the icing on the cake to the end. Firstly, maintenance. I spend around rupees 1,500 to maintain my 800, which is about four Uber rides. It includes original Maruti parts and 
labor cost at our friendly neighborhood garage. Add to that bulletproof reliability of Maruti. My car has never left me stranded. Secondly, the running costs. Let's look at the fuel economy figures of the 800. In the city, it does an impressive 16 to 17 km per litre. On the highway, it goes up to 20 km per litre. Both of these with air condition on. It's much more than many small cars tested by the ARI. And it shows how relevant these figures are in the modern times. If anyone is interested, I tested both these figures with the full tank method. Lastly, cost of the vehicle. I bought my 800, which had run around 55,000 kilometers for around 25,000 rupees. Now tell me, which other vehicle offers you the same value at this price point? In fact, the 800 was made in the 80s for the aspirational in Indian back then. And for it to be relevant even in the modern times shows how brilliant feat of engineering it is. You don't have to drive an expensive and the most fastest car to get the thrill of driving. Even a 16-year-old 800 will do it. Please hit that subscribe button and like button on your way out. It helps more than you think. Till next time, keep your eyes on the road, hands on the wheel and drive safe. Ciao.